That is one dirty Evora. Guess these wash wipes aren't good for everything. The car's way too dirty. Gotta hit the car wash. All right, car's clean. Today we're gonna be building a middle of the line gaming PC. And I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through how to uh, pick your parts and, and what to buy and how to build. Um, today's a little bit of a weird day because I am kind of forced to take the day off from being in the shop for other reasons, which I'll explain in a little bit. But before we do that, I always like to keep these things automotive related in one way or another. Chelsea needs a little bit of work on her car, so it's off to the auto parts store to pick up some parts to do some repairs. Can you tell me if this is the right bulb for a 2012 Chrysler 200? I never said it was going to be a big fix. Chelsea has a blinker out. Alright, I'm always trying to keep these videos automotive related. We're changing a blinker today. Big stuff. Big, big, big stuff. First step, open the hood. See you guys later. Okay, left one. Okay, now right one. There we go. Final step, close hood. Done. Traffic is insane right now. People are driving like idiots. Um, so, Traffic is insane right now. People are driving like idiots. I wanted to explain to you guys, so, so today is basically a day off um, and it segues into something that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about, which is advertising. So when you shoot an ad campaign like what we did yesterday for DraftKings, it goes through an approval process and then um, and then you you kind of wait by the, by the email. You're always checking your email and then seeing um, if they're like, yeah, the ad's good, go ahead and run it and run the episode or no, we need some changes to be done. So it's like a little bit of back and forth. It slows down the process to getting episodes released and it also, um, you know, is a bit of a pain. But, you know, why do I do it? Why do I advertise on my channel? Why do I do branded content spots like that? And I just wanted to talk to you guys and explain that, like, we do it because we have to. Um, the channel is, you know, I'm not making big bucks on the channel. I'm not actually making any money. I've been looking at my taxes and stuff like that and we're just breaking even. And that's fine because I'm doing, I'm doing the best job I could ever imagine doing. I'm doing something that I absolutely love and uh, I'm having a blast doing it. So I'm, I'm completely chill with that. I've had a job where I just stacked up money and I saved money and I thought about what to do, you know, the next steps and stuff and software and things like that. And uh, it wasn't very challenging and that wasn't the way that I wanted to live my life, so I do this. But um, to be losing money is, a, is kind of a different story. It then all of a sudden kind of shifts over to maybe this is an irresponsible thing for me to be doing as a career, et cetera, et cetera. So, Please be chill with the ads, guys. You know, um, I'm not always gonna do ads that are always 100% car and automotive focused. You know, you you guys be smart. You're all grown-ups. Uh, use your own mind on whether or not a, a product is good for you. But if it is, please do interact. You know, with the links in the descriptions and stuff like that. That's how they track the stats of how the campaigns go and whether or not most of these people continue to uh, buy more. You know, ad campaigns with us. And and I will say that you guys have been awesome on that because most of the ad companies that we work with, the advertising firms that we work with come back to do things um, time and time again. So thanks to you guys so, so much for the support. Thanks for being understanding. I know that the episode is gonna be out a day before this one and you guys will probably be pretty frustrated and saying things like sell out and et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's not, I'm not selling out guys. I'm just trying to keep the YouTube channel alive. That's, that's all that it really is. So that's, that's that guys. Thanks for hanging in there. We are on our ways to, on our way to Fry's right now. Fry's Electronics is my favorite place to buy computer parts and components. Also, I'm gonna get to look through their electronics section uh, for the DIY home builder stuff, see if there's any things that we can buy to improve the situation on the BRZ. So, win-win, let's hit the store. All right, we have arrived. So, computers are built up of components, motherboard, processor, graphics card, RAM, hard drive, power supply, things on that nature. Fry's has weekly ads that has pretty good deals for all of these things, so that's what we're going after. We're doing a mid-range build, so my budget is at about $1,000, and I may be willing to budge in a couple of areas. Uh, so yeah, about $1,000 of added stuff. I already have a graphics card at home, so I'm not counting that in. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is head over to the um, crazy computer guru desk over there, and they can look up 
what that they have on their weekly sale is still available in the shop. Let's see what I can pick up. All right, well I'm stoked. We got a whole cart full of stuff. Uh, I went down to the component section and uh, we saw what was still left, what they had around from the week sale. Uh, I did what you shouldn't do, so Fry sends out promo codes every week. Uh, go at the beginning, right when the promo codes show up. I went on the last day of the promo, so they were out of some stuff. Which So we ended up with an AMD processor unit, which I'll talk about later, instead of a Intel. Um, but we got all hooked up, and we're under budget. We're at 800 and... Let's say $820. I think we're at $820, and I budgeted 1000 bucks. So uh, I'm just going to look at a little bit of gaming accessories, see if there's anything I have to have. I almost forgot, I gotta check on the uh, electrical components and see if there's anything I can grab to help out the uh, the electrical system on the BRZ, kind of simplify things if we can. All right, I think I found everything I'm gonna find. I just realized that I went on a rant about advertising and then now I'm spending a bunch of money on a PC. PC comes out of my personal account, which is just money that I've made from software over the last few years. It's not, it's not BS for build money. Two totally different things. Uh, I did find uh, an electronic enclosure that I think will help tidy up uh, one little part of the BRZ, but it wasn't too much to pick from. So now it's time to pack up the car and jump into some massive traffic. All right, now I'm gonna get into a little bit of the nerdy stuff on how to build a PC, but let's go through what I bought. So like I said, I was going for middle of the line, middle to the high end of the line, or what you'd call probably a middle of the line gaming system. So I, I went with this, um, we went with the AMD platform. I was gonna go with the um, Intel platform, but the uh, i7-7700 were sold out. So I went with the Ryzen, and actually I'm pretty happy with that choice. After looking at some benchmark numbers, this Ryzen uh, 5 1600X, actually benchmark out better than the i7-7700 and is uh, the same price point. So I'm stoked on that. Um, and then we get the uh, the motherboard that supports that. So I don't know if there's, I don't think there's anything super special about this motherboard. It was at a decent price point. Again, just pretty middle of the road. Uh, has super fast internet, fancy red lights, uh, supports the RAM that I need. Uh, for RAM, we went with a 16 gigabyte kit, uh, two 8 gigabyte sticks of DDR4 at 2,666 megahertz, which is a uh, pretty good speed for these days. And for the hard drive, since this is just a gaming PC, we're just gaming and streaming on this thing and also managing the BS for Build merchandise orders, because uh, that's where we are. Behind this curtain is where we do merchandise. Um, if you're wondering what this background is, that's just uh, cheap soundproofing. That's carpet floor mat stuff and it keeps the sound from echoing down here this is the studio normally you see me from this side <laughs> um now we're down here so here's like the lighting and the and the stuff and this is going to be the new uh streaming center so anyways so for a hard drive we went with a 480 gigabyte solid state hard drive i really like solid state hard drives they run much faster than the traditional hard drives and um yeah so power supply i had lying around this was unused back from my bitcoin mining days over two or three years ago um, hashtag Bitcoin ball in these days. Uh, CX750 will be enough to power this whole deal. And then for the graphics card, this is something that we bought a little bit ago and I had uh, been using on my other PC. This is a um, GeForce 1060X, so it's a six gigabyte uh, GeForce card. It's That's middle of the line for the GeForce cards these days. There's been a real premium on price of graphics cards lately because of all the Bitcoin mining that's been going on. Um, so this is it. What do you need to actually build a computer? You just need a, uh, for a gaming computer, this is what you need. This is what you have to have, uh, and a case. Actually, you don't technically have to have a case. You could build one in a cardboard box if you wanted to. Um, but for not a gaming computer, you can just take out the graphics card. You still need RAM, CPU, motherboard, memory, power supply. You could start up a computer like that. Um, so before we go ahead and do that, we're going to get our case prepped that all this uh, lovely hardware goes into. So I'm going to go grab the case and get it set up. All right, that's the case all sorted. So this is a thermal take case that I was told had lighting in the front. Uh, it doesn't, I ripped the front off, it, no lighting. They lied to me, uh, but I liked it. It's minimalistic, it's got some nice controls on the top there and then uh, and some USB ports and, and nothing I don't really need and some, some nice windows and stuff. So it was a good middle of, the, middle of the road. I got two fans that I installed that I bought on my own. These are aftermarket. Um, they come with a side of rice 
they glow. So we're going with a black and red glow uh, theme on this build. So uh, I, I wanted a little bit of lights, but not nothing too over the top because I don't I don't care that much. But uh, I do. I just wanted I wanted a little rice. I can't rice out any of my cars. So uh, next thing we're going to go ahead and do is install the power supply, which is going to go down down in there, um, un under here, and cabling comes out of here, and the motherboard. Okay, the motherboard's in. That's all pretty simple to install. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just get it in here. Don't don't ding it up on the way in here. Uh, the bottom of it has obviously got a lot of solder and stuff on it, so kind of slide it in here gently. Line it up with all the bolt holes. It'll, you'll see it match up, and then you bolt it in uh, to the case. Um, and then the power supply, uh, they're all you know different depending on which case you have, but mine kind of slides in the back here, and then there's a strap that you bolt on over that. So next thing that we're going to do is start, uh, I'm going to go ahead and install the CPU. So to do that, you flip this up right here. You're going to install the CPU. On top of that, you install the CPU heat sink, which is going to go on top of that. And then um, I'm going to start running some of the power wires. So this is a power block right here of wires, and uh, just start wiring things up. I'm going to try and wire this a little bit more neatly than the BRZ for you guys. Okay, here we are with the end result. Uh, graphics card is not yet installed, but everything is wired up and powered. That's the power for the graphics card that'll go in there. Um, I was able to do this pretty cleanly because they have this kind of back area where you can tuck wires in behind. And then even from the other side, it doesn't really look too bad. You really can't see that there's wires in between the black pieces. So that's pretty slick. Um, so we got our solid state hard drive here, RAM installed here. The two fans tidied up all the wiring there. I, mean, I wish I had a cooler looking uh, heat sink, but for the time being, you know, we're kind of rolling with the budget looking one. Um, but that, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and install a cold cathode. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it up here. I got a red light and uh, then it's time to connect some of our peripherals so we can start to boot it up and I'll show you guys through that process. All right, with power all hooked up and everything going, when I hit the button, all my lights turn on. So you got the red fan up top, red fan right there, a red cold cathode right up here, and the motherboard also lights up red. Um, so it's pretty cool. If I hit the lights, you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I haven't installed the, I installed the glass on the back permanently. Nice little red glow. Um, but then uh, I haven't done the lights in the front or the, the glass in the front quite yet because we still got to get the graphics card in. So next thing we're going to go ahead and do is set up the peripherals. I bought a new mouse. I'm using an old keyboard. We got to get that set up, our monitor set up, and, uh, and then we'll go through the Windows installation process. Always fun. Always fun. All right, so here's the setup down here. We got two Dell 24 inch monitors that I got for my job when they laid me off. Uh, I'm gonna run this one vertically. Uh, that way I can stack different things on it and it takes up less uh, width this way. Um, and then this one's gonna be dead on to me when I'm gaming, because this is like a gaming, obviously a gaming setup. I did a uh, large mouse pad because I've always had these things. I like these, a budget gaming mouse. Uh, this was about 25 bucks, 30 bucks. I, I like them. I, I'm, I'm pretty good with any mouse that's uh, ambidextrous, left, right, compatible. And these are my favorite keyboards because when you write code, this matches up with your laptop and back and forth. So I'm pretty acclimated to these keyboards. So I had an extra one of these laying around again from when I got laid off. So keeping that. You'll notice I haven't installed the graphics card, but we're going to get started installing Windows. Why is that? It's because you want to limit the amount of extra stuff that you have plugged into your system because it can be something that's wrong, a driver that can't be found, blah, 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 blah. So you might as well go with the motherboard graphics, which is what we're going off of for now. You get Windows installed then you download the drivers for your graphics card plug your graphics card in and then you're good to go so it's time to plug it in uh turn everything on well everything's on so let's just give it a shot that button and let's see if uh we get some bio screens and stuff like that
All right, we're getting things set up. I got the Twitch set up over here. I got the webcam getting set up over here. You can see me right there. Ooh, looking good. And uh, computer's right there, obviously running well. And we are installing um, the uh, the game right now. I don't want to jump into my Steam on screen, but it's looking good. So while we install, I'm going to go get some drinks with my roommate, get a little toss before we start streaming. Game on. Welcome to Inside the Game. This is Inside the Twitch Stream. This is what we do. This is the purpose of building this machine right here. So, to get the stream started off, this is what I do. I'm going to jump on the Instagrams right here and say something like... And then I'm going to post that to Instagram. People are going to come join. I hope. If I am so fortunate. It's most likely going to be a lot of people in Germany because it's nearly 3 a.m. right now. But that doesn't matter. So... Let's go ahead and get started. I got the Twitch dashboard up. I got the streaming up. Let's kill some people. The air keyboard. Shoot him. What the f I ride with you. Wait for me. For honor. For honor. For USA. I love this kid. I want to adopt him. Do you need parents? I'll take you in. I'm a fucking bush. You can't get me. All right, guys, so that's it for the end of the stream, and that's it for the end of this episode. Thank you so much. You can see I'm coming at you from the little corner of the screen. That's what we do when we're streaming on Twitch. So if you want to come join us, check us out on Twitch. Be us for build on Twitch. We built an awesome PC, a one-day quick build from buying to building to running to streaming, and it was pretty fun, pretty fun, and I'm very, very happy with it. It runs, like, I would say better graphics and probably easily five times faster than my last PC, which is pretty amazing uh, for under a thousand dollar budget so I had a fun time doing it and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it thank you so much for watching please remember um, like subscribe all that good stuff BS for build BS for build on twitch Facebook social media all that stuff thank you guys so much for the support and all that other great stuff like subscribe I already said it that's it end of the night coming at you from the little corner on the bottom of the screen peace